We're taking a trip back to Beverly Hills. Let's get into it. Hey, welcome back to my channel. We are on the Beverly Hills Cop 2. After the, the amazing success of the first Beverly Hills Cop film, Paramount actually had the idea of turning it into a TV series, something that they flirted with later on. Like, several years ago, they thought about turning Beverly Hills Cop into a TV series once again. But back then, Eddie Murphy did not want to go back to TV. So he nixed that idea. So instead, Don Simpson and Jerry Brockheimer came back, and this time, instead of Martin Brest directing this, they brought their good buddy Tony Scott, who was just coming off of Top Gun, which was a huge hit the year before this movie came out. So they brought Tony Scott in, and they armed him with a $28 million budget, which was a huge increase from the first movie. Now, this movie came out in May of 1987. It's rated R. It's an hour and 40 minutes long. And when it came out that summer, it grossed 153 in the U.S. and $300 million worldwide. So it made a lot of money. Not quite as much as the first film, but still made a ton of money. Now, in this film, we have Eddie Murphy back as our main character, Axel Foley. We have Judge Reinhold back as Billy Rosewood. We have John Ashton back as John Taggart. We have the great Ronnie Cox back again as Andrew Bogomil. We have Jurgen Prog now as Maxwell Dent, our main villain. Although, again, in this film, he does not, even though he's our main villain and the main reason why these things are taking place, he does not do anything really villainous until, until really towards the end of the film. Um, Bridget Nielsen is in this movie as Carla Fry. Now she has more, she's more involved with the, the villain aspects of this film, especially early on through the midway, until the end, but she, she has more involved with it. Dean Stockwell as Chip Kane. A lot of people remember him from Quantum Leap. Paul Reiser makes a welcome return as Jeffrey, um, one of Axel Foley's co-workers in the Detroit Police Department. I didn't mention him in my review for the first film. But he's great in the first film, and he's even better in this film. He has a little bit more to do in this film. Not a whole lot, but he's on, on screen a little bit more. Gilbert Hill is back as Inspector Todd, and he's just as funny in this film, giving Axel all kinds of shit, and he's fabulous. And Gilbert Gottfried makes an appearance as Sidney Bernstein. This, well, we'll get into that. Um, and basically in this film, in the beginning of the film, we see this, um, this heist at this jewelry store. And... Bridget Nielsen in the 80s, you couldn't not recognize her. She was just coming off of Rocky IV and Cobra. So, I mean, you can't mistake her when she's on screen because she's so tall. And um, they rob this jewelry store, and then we cut to Detroit. And we meet Axel Foley's undercover. Once again, he's driving a Ferrari, and he's trying to get dirt on these people selling uh, credit cards, blank credit cards. And... We cut back to Beverly Hills and we see Bogomil. Well, Bogomil calls Axel Foley and they have a conversation. And we see right away they've been friends the two years since he's been in Beverly Hills. We see a picture of him, Taggart, and Rosewood on a fishing trip. And Bogomil has the exact same picture on his desk at his house. So we, we get the feeling they've been friends this whole time and they stayed in contact. When Bogomil gets off the phone with Axel, he even says, I'll call you in a week. So we know they keep in contact. They become really good friends and they respect each other. Well, Bogomil gets been snooping around in this oil field owned by Maxwell Dent, which we don't really find out till later, but I'm skipping back and forth here a little bit. And he gets in trouble with his new, his new chief of police, who's a real dick, and he gets suspended. So he's on his way home, and Brigitte Nielsen's character is faking like her car is not working. She, he gets out to help her, and his car comes up and shoots him, and he ends up in the hospital. Axel finds out and he decides to take a trip to Beverly Hills to help um, Rosewood and Taggart find out who who tried to kill Bogomil. And that's pretty much our initial setup of the film. And as, when when Axel gets there, he realizes things are different now. Things are, The chief is much more political. Taggart and Rosewood have been demoted to tra traffic duty and they're not involved in the case. But Axel talks them into staying to start investigating on their own and he'll help them. So they start poking around this gun club, which they find out these people are a part of and that they end up, they get, they end up catching up to the point where they know they're going to rob this like federal reserve area. They show up. It's a little too late. They're coming out, but they chase them in a cement truck and a pretty cool scene with Billy Rosewood driving the cement truck and they end up in the playboy mansion. 
And this is where we see Chris Rock is playing the one valet at the, the Playboy Mansion. He only has a, a one line, one or two lines, that's it. But he's funny in his one or two lines. And in this movie, I mean, we get to see Hugh Hefner, some of the Playmates. And there's a funny scene with Rosewood Taggart and Axel standing there looking around like, this is what we've always dreamed about. <laughs> so um, it's pretty funny. And um, as the movie goes on, I'm going to skip over a little bit. Um, they find out what Dent has been up to. And he's the main reason why these these things are going on and that he canceled the insurance policies and in all his businesses except for one his horse racing track so they realize they're going to make their last move on his horse racing track and he's going to take off to south america when they get there they're too late but they realize his oil field's right behind the racing track and we have our final shootout at this oil field and at the end of the movie dent gets killed so does brigitte nielsen's character and they save the day. The chief gets fired because he's an abusive asshole. And um, they actually make Bogomil the new chief of police. And the movie ha ends on a happy note. Um, I skipped over a part, though. There's a part where they go to um, Dent's financial advisor. And it's played by Gilbert Gottfried. And it's a great scene because Axel makes out these fake parking tickets. And he says, and uh, Cindy Bernstein's like, well, this isn't my car, it's my wife's car. And Axel's like, well, it's in your name. And he goes, because the funny goes, you bitch. And he's screaming. I, I did some research that actually Eddie Murphy and Gilbert Gottfried, um, they actually improvised that whole scene. Everything they said to each other was improvised. And they're funny. It's a funny scene. It's they're, they're back and forth is hilarious. That's the thing about this movie. I actually think this movie is funnier than this, the first one. I think overall... And we'll get into it a little bit more why I think this. I think the first film is a better film overall. This film, though, does up, I think, ups the comedy. And it ups the action for sure. Although, when you have Tony Scott and a bigger budget, of course, the action is going to be more than the original film. Also, I like in this film, well, Eddie Murphy actually co-wrote the story for this film. So, you could tell he was leaning more towards the comedy. Plus, there was a lot of improv improvisation on the set. Um, but... That I also like that Taggart, Rosewood, and Axel are working together more in this film. They're, they actually spend a large majority of this film together. Where in the first film, yes, they got scenes together, but they're not really on screen together all that long until the end of the film. Like, you got these moments during the film, and they're really not together till the end. In this film, they're definitely, they're away, they're, they're together a lot more for the majority of the film, interacting with each other. And that's when you get to comedy gold with these three actors um, going off of each other, it just works better. Um, so in that respect, this film works, I think, in that department a little bit more than the first one. That's something I like more than the first film. Um, and, I, and when I was a kid, I watched this one, I rewatched this one more than the first film. Although now I think the first one is the better film. But I think the action's better in this film. It's, I really do. And Tony Scott's excellent action scenes, or was excellent action scenes, the man has passed away, unfortunately. Um, what else? Uh, Tony Scott got hired for this film off of the success of Top Gun, and obviously he worked on Top Gun with uh, Don Simpson and Jerry Brockheimer. Also, another piece of trivia, the scene at the end where Billy Rosewood went to the oil field, pulls out all these guns out of his trunk, that was a nod to Don Simpson. Um, in the documentary on the DVD or the Blu-ray, um, Judge Reinhold says that Don Simpson showed him his gun collection that was in the back in his trunk of his car. So they, they put that in the script as a nod to Don Simpson, which I think is kind of cool. Um, but what would I give Beverly Hills Cop 2? I gave Beverly Hills Cop a 9 out of 10. I would give Beverly Hills Cop 2 an 8.5 out of 10. I think it's a really fun action comedy, and I think it's even a little bit funnier than the first film, but for whatever reason, I still feel the first film is a better film. Um, but this is definitely a more amped up version of the first one. It's, it's, it's almost a copy of the first film, honestly, but it's just a more amped up version of it. And there's more comedy, I, I, I believe in this film, but yes, eight and a half out of 10 for Beverly Hills Cop 2. It's a pretty damn good sequel to a hit movie. Um, what are your thoughts on this sequel? Leave a comment down below. Let me know, hit the thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, share this video. I'd greatly appreciate it. You all take care of each other and I'll be back with the Bastard Stepchild of the original trilogy, Beverly Hills Cop 3. I'm going to watch that tonight. I haven't seen it in a long time, so we'll see how my feelings are on it. I don't hate that film as much as some people, but I also don't love it. So we'll see how I feel when I watch it tonight. But I'll, take care. I'll be back soon. Take care. Bye.